Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool that is currently being used by over 20,000 aspirants. Now let's see if you can answer this important question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video. Pollination is defined as the transfer of pollen grains from anthers to the surface of stigma. You know, pollen grains are produced by the stamens. The stamens are the male reproductive organs of the flower. And these stamens produce pollen grains. These pollen grains, by the time they are liberated, they are actually male gametophytes and are partially developed. These pollen grains are carried by various agents and they are lodged on the surface of the stigma of the female reproductive organ. So this is pollination. The types of pollination. Pollination is divided into two types, cleistogamy and chasmogamy. Cleistogamy means the flowers remain closed, means they never open. So the flowers must be bisexual and when the flower does not open, the pollen grains of the same flower should fall on the stigma of the same flower. That is, such flowers are called clistogamous flowers. Chasmogamous flowers means the flowers open. The male and female sex organs are exposed. In chasmogamy, again there are two types. They are gatinogamy and xenogamy. Let us see what these types are. The flower has calyx and a corolla, the perianth parts. At maturity, the flower opens, exposing the sex organs, anthers, the gynecia. So these are chasmogamous flowers. These chasmogamous flowers may be bisexual or unisexual. When the flowers are bisexual, there is a chance of self-pollination. That is, the pollen grains produced of a flower may be transferred to the stigma of the same flower. That is, self-pollination. If the pollen grains produced by one flower may be transferred to the stigma of a different flower. This is cross-pollination. The cross-pollination is divided into two. That is, gaitanogamy and xenogamy. So here is a plant and this plant produces flowers. If the pollen grains of one flower may be transferred to the stigma of another flower on the same plant, though this is a cross-pollination, it amounts to self-pollination because the plant has the same genotype, means all the genes of this plant are same and the pollen grains of one flower and the gynecium of another flower have the same genes. So though it is a physical cross-pollination, it amounts to genetical self-pollination. Physical cross-pollination is a transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another flower, but it is genetical self-pollination because the genes of the pollen grains and also the gynecium of the flower are same. That is the male gametes and the female gametes have the same genotype. That is gatinogamy. Xenogamy means this is one plant and this is another plant of the same species. Flower, here also flowers. Now the pollen grains produced on one plant are transferred to the stigma of another plant. This is true cross-pollination. This cross-pollination is both physical and genetical cross-pollination. So this type of cross-pollination is called xenogamy. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here is the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and uh, NEAT prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and 20,000 solved examples. 
They are accessible online on our website and also offline through SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product on our website.